Block Universe Theory Criticisms from Science and Philosophy Block Universe Theory, a mind-bending concept born from Einstein's theory of relativity, suggests that past, present and future aren't separate entities, but equally real components of a single four-dimensional block of space-time. This means that past, present and future are all happening at the same time. While this idea offers a compellingly elegant picture of the cosmos, it also throws up a blizzard of paradoxes and challenges our fundamental understanding of time, change and even free will. So, dear viewer, let's put on our swim gear and dive into this cosmic puzzle box of time. Let's explore the fascinating and sometimes frustrating implications of the block universe. A universe on display, the appeal of the block. Even though no one person created the block universe theory, it basically emerged from Einstein's special and general relativity, which elegantly intertwined space and time into a single fabric called space-time. Relativity demonstrated that time isn't absolute, but relative to the observer's motion and gravitational field. This paved the way for the idea that all moments might exist simultaneously. Just as you can move left or right in space, you can move forward or backward in time, at least in theory. Now, dear viewer, imagine a loaf of bread where each slice represents a different moment in time, and the entire loaf is the block universe, containing all moments from beginning to end. In the block universe, every event including your birth, the fall of the Roman Empire, the death of the universe exists eternally in its own slice of space-time. The now you're experiencing is just one slice in an infinite loaf. Time is a river which sweeps me along, but I am the river. Jorge Luis Borges This static view of time offers a certain mathematical elegance and provides a neat solution to some thorny problems in physics. It neatly sidesteps the issue of a preferred moment in time, treating all moments equally. It also offers a compelling visual metaphor for understanding space-time as a unified entity. However, this elegance comes at a price. The frozen river. Where's the flow? One of the most immediate and persistent criticisms of the block universe is its apparent inability to account for change. If everything is already here, laid out in the block, where does the dynamic nature of our experience come from? We perceive time as flowing, as a constant process of becoming. We see leaves changing color, fireworks exploding, and children growing up. The block universe theory clashes with our lived experience, to us, time feels like a river, flowing steadily from the past to the future. We remember yesterday, experience today, and anticipate tomorrow. But the block universe says this flow is an illusion, just a trick of the mind. Philosophers like Henry Bergson and scientists like Lee Smolin have argued that this view undermines the reality of time. If the past, present and future are equally real, then what makes the present special? Why do we feel like we're moving through time rather than just sitting in a static block? Imagine watching a sports game where all moments, including the kickoff, the touchdown and the final whistle, exist simultaneously. It's hard to make sense of the game's progression or the player's movements. In the block universe, these changes might seem to be frozen, like static images in a photo album. How can a static block give rise to the vibrant, ever-shifting reality we perceive? Critics argue that the block universe struggles to explain how we get the subjective experience of temporal flow, the feeling of now moving through time. To tackle this, let's envision a flipbook animation each page represents a frozen moment in time, yet when we flip through the pages rapidly, we perceive motion and change. In the block universe, the pages of time exist all at once, but our consciousness flips through them in sequence. 
creating the illusion of continuous motion and change. The illusion of now, a cosmic sleight of hand? This brings us to the problem of now. If all moments are equally real, what makes the present moment so special? Why do we experience this particular slice of the block as now? Why not yesterday, or a thousand years from now? The block universe seems to suggest that our experience of the present is an illusion, a cosmic sleight of hand. We're like actors trapped in a play where all the scenes are already written and performed, but we're only aware of the scene we're currently in. Imagine watching a movie in reverse. The scenes make sense, but the narrative feels disjointed. In the block universe, our experience of time's passage is like playing a movie backward and forward, yet the sequence of events remains static within the real. Philosophers argue that this disconnect between our perception and the reality proposed by the block universe diminishes the authenticity of our experiences and emotions. This, dear viewer, raises profound questions about consciousness. If our experience of time is an illusion, what does that say about the nature of our minds? Are we just passive observers, watching a pre-written script unfold, or do we have a more active role in shaping our reality? The spectre of determinism, where's my free will? The Bloch universe also raises the question of determinism. If the future is already fixed in the block, then everything that will ever happen is already predetermined. This casts a long shadow over the concept of free will. If our choices are already written into the fabric of space-time, then are we truly free to choose? It's like being an actor in a predetermined script, where every move and every word are preordained. Are we just puppets dancing to a tune that was composed before we were even born? We are all just prisoners here, of our own device. The Eagles, Hotel California. Philosophers and scientists have long debated the implications of determinism. Some, like Daniel Dennett, argue that free will can still exist within a deterministic framework. Others, like Roger Penrose, suggest that quantum mechanics might introduce an element of randomness that allows for genuine freedom. But in the block universe, where everything is fixed, these debates are well worth having. Quantum Quandaries The Universe's Dice Roll Perhaps the most significant challenge to the block universe comes from the realm of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a theory that governs the behavior of matter at the subatomic level. And one of the key features of quantum mechanics is its inherent uncertainty. Quantum events are not predetermined. Instead, they are probabilistic. A particle might be in one place or another, or even both at the same time, until it is measured. This inherent randomness seems fundamentally incompatible with the deterministic nature of the block universe. For example, Schrödinger's cat, the infamous thought experiment, exists in a state of both being alive and dead at the same time until someone checks. But in a block universe, the cat's fate would be predetermined, with no room for the probabilistic nature of quantum events. Think of it like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. The block universe, with its rigid, predetermined structure, struggles to accommodate the fuzzy, probabilistic nature of the quantum world. Quantum events seem to defy the idea that the future is already written. They suggest that the universe is not a clockwork mechanism, but more like a cosmic game of dice, where the outcome of events is not determined until they happen. Causality and the Arrow of Time Another challenge to the block universe theory is its implications for causality, which is the idea that causes precede effects. In our everyday experience, time has a clear direction. Eggs break, but they don't unbreak. People age, but they don't grow younger. This arrow of time is deeply tied to the concept of causality. But in the block universe, where all moments exist simultaneously, the distinction between cause and effect becomes blurry. 
If the future is just as real as the past, then why does time seem to flow in one direction? Critics argue that the block universe fails to explain the asymmetry of time, including why we remember the past, but not the future, and why entropy, disorder, always increases over time. Time is what keeps everything from happening at once. Ray Cummings Imagine a game of billiards. In the block universe, every shot, every collision and every ricochet is already laid out in space-time. But in our experience, the balls move because they're struck by the cue. The block universe doesn't explain why we perceive this causal chain as unfolding over time, rather than being a static arrangement. Implications for personal identity the block universe theory raises questions about personal identity and the nature of self. If all moments exist simultaneously, what constitutes personal continuity and identity over time? Are we just a collection of moments, or is there something more that binds us together? If all moments in time are equally real, then are you the same person you were as a child, or as you will be in old age? Or are these just different slices of a larger four-dimensional being? Movements and moments. Not so frozen after all. Now, dear viewer, let's address a couple of specific questions about movements and moments being frozen. While it's true that from a hypothetical perspective outside the block universe, time might appear frozen, this isn't how we experience it within the block. From our perspective, movements and moments are not frozen. We experience them as a continuous flow, as a sequence of events unfolding. Just like the characters in a movie experience the story as a flow of events, even though the film itself is a series of static frames, we experience time as a flow. Think of a river. From a bird's eye view, you can see the entire river, from its source to its mouth, and it looks static. But if you're a leaf floating on the river, you experience the flow of the current, the journey from one point to another. Similarly, we, as observers within the block universe, experience the flow of time, even though from a hypothetical external perspective, all moments might be seen as existing simultaneously. Critical thinking. To further illustrate these criticisms, Let's delve into some metaphors and analogies used by critics. The railway network. Imagine the universe as a vast railway network, with every possible destination pre-mapped and every train's route fixed. You, the passenger, might choose which train to board, but the tracks and stations are already laid out. This metaphor highlights the tension between predetermined routes, the block universe, and the semblance of choice free will. The Library of Babel. Inspired by Jorge Luis Borges's story, critics liken the block universe to a library containing every possible book, with every story already written and shelved. Our lives are like reading these books in sequence, experiencing the narrative as it unfolds, even though every chapter is already inked in the pages of space-time. One Alternative some physicists propose an evolving block universe, where the past and present are fixed, but the future is open and undetermined. This hybrid model attempts to reconcile the static block with the dynamic nature of relativity, allowing for an evolving space-time where the future is still a realm of possibilities. The unresolved mystery, a cosmic crossroads. The cosmos is within us. We are made of star stuff. We are a way for the universe to know itself. Carl Sagan The block universe is a fascinating and deeply challenging concept. It forces us to confront some of the most fundamental questions about the nature of time, change, consciousness and free will. While it offers a compellingly elegant picture of the cosmos, it also raises a blizzard of paradoxes and struggles to reconcile with our everyday experience of the world and the findings of quantum mechanics. Perhaps the block universe is a stepping stone on our journey to a deeper understanding of the universe. 
Perhaps it's a flawed but thought-provoking model that will eventually be superseded by a more complete theory. Or perhaps it's a glimpse into a deeper reality that we are only beginning to comprehend. Whatever the case, the Block universe remains a powerful reminder of the mysteries that still lie at the heart of our understanding of time and the cosmos. It's like a cosmic crossroad, challenging us to rethink our most basic assumptions about reality and inviting us to explore the uncharted territories of space and time. And, dear viewer, it challenges us to look inside of ourselves for the answers.